Also tracking the latest on a pinpoint weather alert as a uh, winter storm makes its way across the nation. Our nation's capital could really see the brunt of this storm. Washington could be getting up to eight inches of snow on top of a light coating of ice. As a result, all federal offices are closed today and Congress has canceled all of their votes. Live look now over the city of Providence where a different situation expected back here at home. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lenz has more now from the mobile newsroom. Good morning, Patrick and Danielle. I'm here on Judith Point Road. This is the main strip here in Narragansett. Um, as you can see, the snow is falling pretty lightly here, but there is something that I want to show you. I'm going to step to the side here so you can get a better look across the street for yourself at the stop and shop. As I mentioned, there's not a lot of activity happening right now, but there is a light dusting on the ground, so it's a little bit of accumulation. Now, the uh, Roads have already been pre-treated, and the good news this morning is that the latest salt shipment arrived on Saturday. The state DOT says due to a national salt shortage, the salt supply is lower than normal, and as a result, officials are urging drivers to take extra caution this morning. Now, last week, Providence was completely out of salt and had to borrow 60 tons of salt from the city of New Bedford. Now, another salt shipment is expected to arrive later this week on Thursday. Reporting live with the South County Mobile Newsroom, Shantae Lands, Eyewitness News.